Yogi have been the Yogi, dear friends. As you are very profound in English language, you must have heard a great poet, a thinker and a philosopher, Rudyard Kipling. And it is a very interesting to know that this great man was born in India, in Bombay, which is now modern Mumbai. This great man had one son, wanted to join army, but because of his sight problem, he was rejected several times. But somehow he could manage his relationship with some of the commanders and his son really got a job in army of the British. And there was a war going on and in this war this boy was killed. So Rudyard Kipling was very sad and he said that his father was only responsible for the death of his son because he manipulated and he managed what was not will of the God. So dear friends, one thing is a lesson to learn from here. Let things come the natural way and its natural flow. Don't try to influence the verdict of the God, the script what Almighty Father has written for all of us. Because, you know, man proposes, God disposes. God has written destiny for all of us. We should simply align our forces with that of the forces of the nature, of the universe, of the ultimate governor of the entire cosmos. And then there will be three, there will be true peace, prosperity, joy, happiness and success. So that is called trust, faith and belief in the Almighty Father and always meditating, contemplating on noble thoughts and noble ideas and great ideas and our life is full of joys and sorrow will never come to us. Sorrow, suffering, hate, greed, anger, jealousy, cynicism, they are all the causes of our evil thinking and being away from the Almighty Father. Because anybody who is in the supreme magnetic forces of the divine power, he will never be misaligned, his domains, his every cells of the body will be perfectly aligned harmoniously with the divine forces of divine power. And that man will become Abraham Lincoln, that man will become Narendra Modi, that will become Mr. Obama, that man become Mr. any great man, Yogi Virendra. Anybody, you, but we have to really shelter such great thoughts which is based on truth and justice peace, love and non-violence and being always wisely using our every moment of time in proper direction just to grow physically, mentally, spiritually and never deviating from the right track. So I was talking about the story of the great British poet born in India, Rudyard Kipling. He wrote several poems and so many articles but one poem became very very famous and that was if, if you have read it or if you have heard it, you will see that one of the most successful people, almost all the great people recited that poem, If by Rudyard Kipling. Even if the great players, they are going to the entrance of the Wimbledon Centre Court, at this front it is written, if you can meet with triumphs and disaster, treat those two imposters just the same. There is a line taken from the Rudyard Kipling, a famous poem F. Today, I am blessed by God with the love and affection for you to teach you, Rudyard Kipling, that great lessons which he was always teaching to his son who really died in the world war. And if somebody, what he concluded, practice those lessons, he will have dominion not only on this earth and everything that's on it, but he will be a great man. And earth will be yours and everything that's in it 
and which will be more he said you will be a great man my son you know so that poem goes like that if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowances for doubting too if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about don't dint in lies or being hated don't give way to hating yet don't look too good or nor look too wise beloved friends there are a lot of great lessons we have to be responsible for ourselves we have to keep our head level headed throughout and if somebody criticizes us or somebody praises us we have just not bother for that but we have really to introspect and know what is truth also we have to trust ourselves because we follow the path of truth justice peace and love island and it can never go wrong but there are other people the critics the naysayers the opinion makers they will criticize us but don't worry for that now we go to the next path if you can dream but not make dreams your master if you can think but not make thoughts your aim and here comes the great line if you can meet with triumphs and disaster treat those home posters just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken spoken by knaves if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools and was things to give your life to be broken and make it with worn out tools david friends another line is still more penetrating and more inspiring if you can make a heap of all your winnings and risk it at one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start at your beginning and never speak a word about your loss now the greatest lessons what mr kipling is giving to me and you to everybody else on this universe when you are in trouble when you are met with troubles adversities misfortune and you have lost everything else but there is only one thing that is called the power of will so he says if you can force your heart and nerves and sinew to serve your term long after they are gone so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will who says to them hold on see what a great lesson because he knows the human will that forces on sin the of his spring of a deathless soul can he give way to any goal the walls of granite intervene beloved friends the walls of granite will always intervene but you have to be very very brave you have to be very very strong mentally and physically and you have to say never die and you have to never give up and never quit if you want to be a great man and you want to be a very successful man lastly he is concluding if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue and walk with kings if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue and walk with kings and not lose your composure if all men count with you but not too much and so on so forth beloved friends because i am nearing my destination and if you can feel it the minutes and so on so forth because i am coming closer to my destinations but the lesson is he has told several things which is very very important we should never lose our own character whether we walk with the kings or we are talking with ordinary fools we have to listen to everyone else but we have not to lose our own identity we have to be ourselves you see the fingerprints they are different because god made more than 7 billion people they are all different and they are all destined to be very very great so we have not to imitate anyone else and my best friend and my god father ralph waldo emerson said self reliance self reliance believe in yourself think yourself be original don't be duplicate because you are blessed with the power what any other great man has got so that is very very important and also we should remember robert first line Woods are lovely, you see, dark and deep, and I have promises to keep. 
and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep but don't forget Edgar Elward guests the courage must come from the soul within the man must furnish the will to win so figure it out yourself my friends you were born with all the greatest men have had with your equipment all began so get yourself and get hold of yourself and say i can because the life battle don't always go to the strong or the fast man but soon or late the man who wins is the man who thinks we can yes we can we can do it whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can really achieve for you and now see the beautiful road and the beautiful surroundings beloved friends these were the lessons i always share with my beloved friends who can really reach the climax the glory and greatness of life because nobody has monopoly of it if you believe in yourself the power of belief will give you the intricate the accurate the genuine magical power of believing and then you will have tremendous energy courage conviction believe in faith and you will know that everything is possible and the word impossible is only found in the dictionary of fools so you can be a conqueror great people have done great work they were a strong mind